Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers. And this little girl here is Dot. And her two little sticks. And this is our brief message of hope to, for today. And uh, today is the Feast of the Transfiguration on the church calendar, uh, August the 6th, uh, where we uh, focus on that incredible mountaintop experience uh, that's recorded in all the Gospels where Jesus uh, takes his three closest friends, Peter, James, and John, to the top of a high mountain uh, to take some time for prayer. And uh, as the, uh, their uh, visit on the mountain begins, uh, the, the apostles, the eyewitnesses, suddenly realize that uh, Jesus has changed, that uh, there was a metamorphosis uh, in his appearance. He was transfigured before them. His uh, countenance, his face, his clothing, all became glistening white. Uh, and suddenly with him, there was uh, Moses and Elijah, who had uh, been dead Moses for 1,200 years and Elijah for 800 years. And yet suddenly they, they were there with Jesus on the mountain. And they were talking about uh, what would be happening when he went to Jerusalem right after this, uh, his uh, departure, as it is called. Uh, and Peter is overwhelmed by it, and because they had stayed awake, he said, Master, it's wonderful that we're here. Uh, let us build three booths, one for you, one for Moses and Elijah, uh, not knowing what he was saying. Uh, and at that point, uh, uh, a, a light cloud came and descended upon them, a bright cloud. Uh, and from the midst of the cloud, there was a voice that said, this is my beloved son, listen to him. And uh, suddenly the apostles realized they were there alone with Jesus again. And he instructed them uh, not to tell anyone about it until he had risen from the dead. And of course they puzzled over what he meant by rising from the dead. This was one of the many um, amazing mountaintop experiences uh, in the Bible, uh, even even more uh, dramatic than than Moses going up repeatedly to Mount Sinai, uh, visiting with God and learning and receiving the commandments, and Moses's countenance was changed too. Something happened to his face when he was in the presence of God, and when the people saw it, they were terrified. So Moses wore a veil over his face uh, when he would come and be among them. And so uh, there are other mountaintop experiences in scripture. There is uh, Elijah uh, on the holy mountain where he sees uh, the earthquake, he, he sees fire, and, and, uh, and yet God speaks to him in a still, small voice. Uh, God still speaks to us. Uh, he still appears to us. We still have the ability to draw near to him. And people ask me, how can we do that? And I said, just remember that Jesus said, ask and ye shall receive, seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Now, what is he talking about? He's certainly not talking about getting new cars or trucks or a new house uh, or, you know, losing a hundred pounds. Or he's, he's not ask, telling us that we ask for earthly things. You know, he, Jesus put it another way. He said, even earthly parents who are sinful know how to give good gifts to their children. How much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? When we ask for the Lord, when we ask, Lord, be near to me. Help me to experience your presence. Help me to love you the way you love me. Uh, those are the prayers that are answered. Uh, because God desires a close and deep relationship with each one of us, we're precious to Him. And I was just thinking of the great Pete Seeger song called uh, Turn, Turn, Turn.
day today, and God willing, God and I will see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.